Precise, delicate, introspective, and through that insightful, Nadine Gordimer published literary works for 50 years. Gordimer's death last Sunday, aged 90, leaves South Africa with one fewer scalpel to reveal its cankers. She was protected first by an overzealous mother, afraid that she had a defective heart that would fail. Then she was protected by the security of comfortable upper middle class life. Gordimer nonetheless saw and revealed the pain and struggle of her fellow South Africans. She wrote of this in her 15 novels and numerous other writings. Gordimer won the 1991 Nobel Prize for Literature in recognition of her continual involvement on behalf of literature and free speech in a police state. Several of her works were banned by the apartheid government, but she was always an outspoken defender of freedom of speech, whether under apartheid or afterwards, under democracy. Gordimer was a friend of the African National Congress, harboring anti-apartheid activists in her Johannesburg home and declaring the ANC was the party to vote for in the 1994 elections that brought democracy to South Africa. But she grew increasingly critical of some of its actions, particularly the Protection of State Information Bill, which she termed an obvious means of concealing the corruption that has become a way of South African life. Gordimer died at home in Parktown, Johannesburg, with her children at her side. Tributes to Gordimer have emanated from around the world. A lifelong irony for Gordimer was that her work is more highly acclaimed abroad than at home in the country to which she dedicated her pen and her voice. <laughs>